Okay, so I hope you got that and I just showed to you how did I get that. Okay, let me just check. Yeah, that's correct. So now we're going to move on to the next step. And that is using the re reduction formula, the recursive formula that we have formulated over there. Okay, now, must say I'm not an expert at this, but I'm going to try my best. I'm going to do my best to show this to you. Okay, so now, what he did was that he divided, or he divided, yeah, the integral, okay, n into two separate cases, the even case and the odd case, okay? Now, as I said, I, I really do not know and I can't think, wow, what, what a move to make, okay? But he just did it to separate the, the two cases because in a way, maybe he just thought that I could really divide the two and get something interesting out of it. Okay, so we're gonna divide the cases into two, but before we do that, let's just do some preliminary, preliminary calculations, okay? I naught is equals to, pi over 2, right? Okay, now this one not is get 1 dx, so we get pi over 2, pi over 2 like that, not a problem. And this is why the pi over 2 comes out. Yeah, maybe why, because when he puts i naught, he gets pi over 2. And then we also need to put in i1, okay? i1 is equals to integrate 0 to pi over 2 of sine x dx, and that is equals to, if I'm not wrong, it is equals to 1. Okay, so I0 is pi over 2 and I1 is 1. Okay, and maybe I should just write it up here so we have space for the calculations. Okay, pi over 2 and I1 is equal to 1. Okay, so now dividing it into two separate cases, how are we going to do that? Okay, first, notice this that when I start with a certain number of n, right? Um, and I can start with any number, 10, 20, uh, 30. I'm going to, in a way, when, when that is equal to a certain number, I'm reducing the, the power or the degree of the integral. You get it? Because of the minus 2 over here. I hope you can see that. So the integral is going to get less, less, and less. Okay, so if I start with 30, I get 30, 28, 26, 24. So I'm reducing the degree of the integral as well as this, the degree of this thing over here. Okay, because it's n minus 1. So, first case, if n is even, if n is even, what do you have? Well, we got i2n. That is to represent that n is, n is even. Oh, sorry, that the degree of this is even, so I'll just put 2n, okay? n can take any value, but if you times by 2, you get an even number, okay? And you just simply, or let's just simply write it out, okay? 2n, take away 1, divide by 2n, okay? And then the next one is 2n, take away 2, okay? That is good, but what is the next step? Well, 2n take away 2, I can simply just substitute this inside there, right? You see, if I substitute this inside there, I will lower the, the degree again by 2. So, if I substitute that inside there, I'll get 2n, 2n minus 1, divided by 2n. Now, the next one is going to be 2n take away 2, which I'm going to put inside here, and I'm going to take away 1. So, it's going to be 2n take away 3, and then 2n take away 2, put inside here, it'll be 2n. Okay, sorry, 2n take away 2, and then it'll be 2, 2n take away 4, because I'm reducing the degree by 2 again. Okay, it gets a little bit confusing now, but just sub 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 substitute the value inside. You see, from here, right, this is becomes my new n, okay, 2n take away 2. So I'm going to substitute this one inside here, which would in turn substitute inside here, as well as here, the n, okay, this is what I get. And then I can do that again, okay. And then when I keep on repeating that, what I will get is that 2n take away 1, 2n, 2n take away 3, 2n take away 2, 2n take away 5, 2n take away 4, and then it will go all the way to, because if we start with an even number, we minus by an even number, we will get i0, okay? Because we started out with an even number here, okay, and then we, have, we, we keep on subtracting 2, okay? So an even number, let's just say 6, keep on subtracting 2, 2, 2, I will get 0. I will end up with i0 over there, but i0 is pi divided by 2. So this one can be re-expressed as pi divided by 2 over here like this, okay? So, hope that is good. Okay, now there's a 1 over 2 here like this. Yes, correct. There's a, there's a 1 over 2 that follows the pi there, okay? Now, hope you can catch me this. Okay, I start with an even number, okay? I start with an even number. I'm subtracting an odd number, okay? I'm subtra subtracting 1, subtracting 3, subtracting 5. That means if I start with an even number and if I keep on subtracting odd numbers, I will get 1, okay?
okay? Remember, let's just think that we're going to start with something very big, okay? So n can be something like 100 or something like that. Yeah, n can be something like 100. So we start with 200. Then I keep on subtracting odd numbers, I will get a 1, okay? And then likewise for the bottom, I keep on subtracting even numbers, I get a 2, okay? So I can re-express this by reversing the order, okay? So I get half over here, but what is going to be the next one? Well, let's see. The difference from here to here is 2, right? So the difference from here to here is going to be plus 2. So the top is going to be 2 over here, okay? And likewise, the difference from here to here is, is subtract a 2. So the difference from here to here is a plus 2. So I'll be a 4, okay? And then it'll be a, sorry, it'll be a 3, 5, and it'll be a 6, okay? 7, it'll be a 8, all the way to n, take away 1 divided by 2n, 2n take away 1 divided by 2n, and then pi over 2. Just keep the pi over 2 on that side. Okay, I hope I have done fairly well with the even one. Okay, the odd one should be a bit easier now that I know what's going on. Okay, so how do I express an odd, odd degree? Well, 2n plus 1. Fair enough. Okay, 2n plus 1, substitute inside the reduction formula. Okay, plus 1, minus 1, that will be 2n. Okay, 2n plus 1, correct. 2n plus 1 over here. Now multiply by, take away 2 from here will be 2n minus 1. Okay, it equals to 2n, 2n plus 1. Okay, 2n minus 1 substitute inside there, we get 2n minus 2, and then 2n n will be at the bottom, so it will be 2 n minus 1. Again, we see like the same pattern because the value, okay, at the top and at the bottom is getting less by 2, you see? You get 2 n, but 2 n minus 2. You got 2 n plus 1, then it goes to 2 n and minus, and 2 n minus 1. So, it's the difference is minus 2 away. This one would be i to the 2 n minus 3. Now, using the same principle, okay, we can write a series or I'm not sure whether a series is the right term because it's a product, sorry. A product series. Let's just put it that way. We keep on going all the way to okay, 2 divided by 3 i1. Okay? Now let's see whether does that work out. Okay? I start with an even number. Okay, even number I subtract 2, I'll subtract 2. So an even number keep on subtracting 2, I will get an even number. Okay, but I, I cannot subtract this by 2 because I get 0 and the whole series is destroyed. Okay, there's a certain condition, but I have left it out, so I'll try to state it in the web page. Now, over here I start with an even number, I plus 1, sorry, yes, it's an odd number. Okay, then I subtract 2 and I do so on and so forth. So if an odd number and I subtract 2, subtract 2, subtract 2, I will get an odd number in the end, okay? And this is what I get, I1. Well, I've evaluated I1, I1 is equal to 1. So basically, we can just minus this off, okay? And then, like what we did over here, we just rewrite the thing by putting 2 divided by 3 using the same principle, increase the numerator by 2, increase the denominator by 2, we get 4, 5, then we got 6, 7, all the way to this one over here, 2n, 2n plus 1. Okay, and there we have it. Now, these are two separate, how to say, two separate product, product series or whatever you want to call them for when the degree is even or when the degree is odd. Okay, and let's just put that inside our reference part over here, okay? Now, it's all in the page, so I hope that you can take a look and read it carefully. Okay, let me just do this over here and we'll be right on to it.